watching ABC 25, your first coast news. Live, this is ABC 25 News at 5. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Bruce Hamilton. And I'm Karen Adams. First at 5, a 14-year-old boy. Live from ABC 25, Bruce Hamilton, Karen Adams. First alert weather with Brian Albrecht. And Sports Blitz with Rick Renner. You're watching ABC 25 News at 5. Live. This is ABC 25 Today. Hey, welcome to... Live from ABC 25. Kim Chapman. First alert weather with Steve Gary. You're watching ABC 25 Today. Good morning, everybody. It's 541 on... Live. This is ABC 25 News at noon. Good afternoon. I'm Rob Harliston. Bad... Live from ABC 25. Rob Harliston. First alert weather with Steve Gary. You're watching ABC 25 News at noon. This is ABC 25 News at 5. First at 5, the big show is taking <laughs> off and on board is plenty. Put on your seat. Live from ABC 25, Keith Coons, Donna Savarese. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brian Albrecht and Sports Blitz with Barry LeBron. You're watching ABC 25 News at 5. is ABC 25 News at 6. You send your children to school to learn. Live from ABC 25. Bruce Hamilton. Karen Adams. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brian Albrecht. And Sports Blitz with Barry LeBron. You're watching ABC 25 News at 6. This is ABC 25 Tonight. We send our children... Live from ABC 25. Bruce Hamilton. Karen Adams. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brian Albrecht. And Sports Blitz with Barry LeBron. You're watching ABC 25 Tonight. This is ABC 25 Nightcast. Live from ABC 25. Bruce Hamilton. Karen Adams. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brian Albrecht. And Sports Blitz with Barry LeBron. You're watching ABC 25 Nightcast. You're watching 12 News, your first coast news. With Patricia Crosby and Steve Smith's weather, this is 12 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Patricia Crosby. Hope you're having a happy St. Patrick's Day. You're watching 12 News, your first coast news. With Jeannie Blaylock, Alan Cheney, Chief Meteorologist Tim Deegan, and 12 on your side's Ken Amaro. This is 12's First News at 5. Well, one fantastic finish in the NCAA tournament. From your First Coast News, this is 12 News at 6. New information in the case is being built against a kidnapping... 12 minutes of non-stop news and weather is starting right now. This is ABC 25, your First Coast News at 5. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alan Janay. And I'm Jeannie Blaylock. Tonight, another round of thunderstorms. With the most accurate forecast from the only weather team with two storm-tracking Doppler radars, this is ABC 25. 
Your First Coast News at 5. With Jeannie Blaylock, Alan Janae, Ken Amaro on your side, and Tim Deegan with your First Coast weather. All right, the bear watch continues on the... The most reporters on the street and the most resources in the newsroom. This is ABC 25, your First Coast News at 5.30. With Donna Hicken, Phil Amato, Dan Hicken with sports, and Tim Deegan with your First Coast weather. Here's a look downtown from our South Bank camp. This is ABC 25, your First Coast News at 7. Investigators searched the home of a jailed high school. With the most reporters on the street and the most resources in the newsroom, this is ABC 25, your First Coast News at 7. With Karen Adams, Mark Spain, and Cliff Michelson with your First Coast weather. A Tampa truck driving school accused of handing out ill... This is ABC 25, your First Coast News at 11. Bad enough. Watching your news leaders. Jeannie Blaylock. Alan Janae. Ken Amaro. Dan Hicken. Tim Vegan. This is First Coast News at 6. Okay, ladies, prepare to be jealous. You're watching your news leader. Donna Hicken. Alan Janae, Tim Deegan, Dan Hicken. This is First Coast News at 11. From the Information Center of First Coast News, your news leader. U.S. troops now marching the streets of Haiti as mobs of angry survivors steal whatever they can. Meanwhile, the Obama administration taps a First Coast nonprofit to help rebuild the earthquake-ravaged nation. And it's going to be a massive undertaking. Uh, job creation, how building houses, uh, building schools, education. This is First Coast News at 5. Good evening, I'm Jeannie Blaylock. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. Don't go away. First Coast News at 6 starts right now. From the information center of First Coast News, your news leader. Everything is just ashes. A fire victim says the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department could have done more to save his home and pets. And uh, if they'd have had water when it first got here, it would have been a kitchen fire. And I could have saved at least three quarters of my trailer. An exclusive look inside the relief efforts from NAS Jacks to help people in Haiti. Getting stuff into that airport has just been impossible. I mean, they're, they're, the port's clobbered, the airports are clobbered. It's just mass chaos. First Coast News is with the military as it sends aid to the island nation. This is First Coast News at 6. Good evening. Information center of First Coast News, your news leader. New at 11, the mother and brother of Oscar-winning actress Jennifer Hudson shot to death in Chicago. And right now, an intense search is on for Hudson's seven-year-old nephew. This is First Coast News at 11. Good evening, I'm Shannon Ogden. From the information center of First Coast News, your news leader. This is First Coast News at 11. Center of First Coast News. This is First Coast News at 5. Please take a look at this. Gasoline prices increasing right before. This is First Coast News at 530. First for you. Another first for the Olympics and Team USA mm -hmm. today. This is First Coast News at 7. First for you. Good evening, I'm Heather Crawford. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Glad you're in tonight. From the studios of NBC 12 and ABC 25, this is First Coast News at 6. First at 6. Oh, we're feeling wonderful. Congresswoman Corinne Brown, indicted on nearly two dozen charges in connection with the One Door for Education charity. Tonight, the prison time she could be facing and what it means for her district. Plus, horror in Dallas. We're learning more about the man police say murdered their own, what investigators found in his home, and honoring the lives of fallen officers. Good evening, a developing story we have been following all day long. From 
the studios of NBC 12 and ABC 25, this is First Coast News at 11. Fans start flooding Jacksonville for the Florida Georgia festivities. Go Dogs! Go Dogs! But will the game stay in the River City for years to come? Plus, rethinking your protein intake. The World Health Organization says red and processed meats may cause cancer. What it means for your meal plan. And later, high water often creeps into businesses in downtown St. Augustine. How the city is dealing with a request for a fast fix. Good evening. Negotiations to keep the Florida Georgia game in jack. Live from the studios of NBC 12 and ABC 25, this is First Coast News at 5. Joseph joined the military to serve. That's part of his beliefs as a Christian. Jo right now on First Coast News, a high-rise rescue in downtown Jacksonville. Hear from a survivor and what the heroes do when they're done saving lives. Plus, the community outraged tonight after a seven-year-old boy was killed in a hail of bullets. Neighbors say they're tired of the violence. And keeping you safe when you go to worship, what local churches are doing to protect you. Always on your side. This is First Coast News at 11. Good evening. A dramatic rescue unfolds on live television tonight. Jacksonville firefighters pulling two scaffolding workers who were left dangling outside the 17th floor. You're watching ABC 25 WJXX. 